Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Nuri Sanudin. I'm from Center of Excellence for Electrical Energy Storage Technology, 11 Maret University. And in this opportunity, I will proudly present my paper about utilization of copper foil waste as a high capacity anode material for high performance lithium NMC811 slash copper oxide at graphite batteries. Lithium ion batteries have been successfully applied in renewable energy technology, particularly in the electrochemical field. This is an essential material for consumers using portable battery storage media, including gadget, cell phone, and laptops. Furthermore, lithium ion batteries are considered one of the most attractive energy storage devices due to the intrinsic environmentally friendly characteristics, high energy capacity, thermal stability, high energy efficiency, and long life cycles. Anode material is an essential part of lithium ion batteries. Currently, mesocarbon or graphite have recently been applied as a conventional anode material in lithium ion batteries. However, a synthetic graphite requires high energy and relatively expensive processes. A state of the art anode material with large lithium storage ability and easy processing is highly needed. Thus, the development of novel anode material involves the use of transition metal as an alternative to graphite. The transition metal oxide is one of the main considerations as an anode active material in lithium ion batteries. This property results from the ability to provide high stability performance at low, length, at low cost alongside environmental friendliness and high theoretical capacity performance. Therefore, the product is considerable as a promising substitute for, for graphite. The waste from copper foil are possibly used as a source of copper. The material is easy to be conversed to copper oxide as one of the most promising anode material for application in lithium and batteries due to the easy synthesis and good chemical stability. Copper foil from spent lithium and battery cells were used as a precursor to copper oxide. A simple hydrometallurgical, a simple hydrometallurgical approach, specifically acid leaching, was used to recover high purity copper compound. The as uh, obtained copper based compound were characterized using XRD, FTIR, and SAM. The copper ions from leaching solution were recovered by adding one molar oxalic acid solution. After two hours of mixing at 60 degrees Celsius, light blue precipitates were formed and collected by gravity filtration. The cakes were washed and dried in a vacuum oven for 12 hours. The dried cakes of copper oxalic X hydroxide were ground and calcined in a muffle in a muffle furnace at 500 degrees Celsius for four hours at ram rate of five degrees Celsius per minute. Dark powder sample were collected and labeled as copper oxide. The copper oxide graphite composite uh, was formulated by mixing ratio mass of copper oxide to graphite mass ratio of three to seven via two hours of pole milling process. Here the XRD of precursor, XRD curve of each sample, there are malate acid, acetic acid, and nitric acid, demonstrate relatively wide peaks at each diffraction, indicating the average primary particle size at a nanoscale. The crystal structure analysis of hydrate of each sample suggests a pattern corresponding to the orthorhombic space group. FTIR spectra of each sample for functional group can be observed, namely hydroxide group, uh, CO group, CO2O bond, and copper oxide bond. Hence, it can be concluded that the precipitate formed by reaction of leaching solution with oxalic acid produced copper to oxalate, oxalate X hydrate, where uh, X less than 1, which is an agreement with the XRD result. SAM or scanning electron microscopy analysis was used to evaluate the particle surface morphology structure and, di and diameter size of a random point. The testing process required collecting images at a magnification of 5,000 times. First feature shows the SAM of the nitric acid sample were uh, obtained from the precipitation reaction demonstrate a this shape. And then the second uh, feature is uh, the sample of acetic acid that, that demonstrate an elongated solid tube. 
and the third feature show the mallet, mallet acid featuring uniform spears. Next, the feature uh, XRD for copper oxide powder. Uh, for each sample, which design good characteristic refraction peaks. In addition, the copper oxide sample also demonstrated a monoclin crystal structure and indicates high crystallinity by sharp peaks. This is the feature for FTI air of copper oxide powder. Um, a functional group can be observed, namely copper oxide group. And from the curve, we can conclude that the sample contain only copper oxide. Next, uh, the same analysis from copper oxide powder uh, featuring on octahedral shape with a 0 0.27274 micron dimension. And the second figure is for the acetic acid sample where, the, where some of the particle demonstrate a dimers shape. And then the, the third figure demonstrate a malate acid with a spherical shape. The structure from the graphite was hexagonal. This is shown by the XRD analysis of copper oxide at graphite powder. The sample composite XRD test, cu test curve patterns show very high intensity for peaks associated with the graphite material. The result also show peaks observed at the low, lower diffraction angle, indicating the presence of copper oxide components. And the electrochemical performance test aims to determine the battery performance. Copper oxide nit nitrate acid sample is used in the electrochemical performance due to its high copper oxide purity compared to other sample. The test was performed in 18 and 650 type cylindrical cell where using lithium nmc one one is applied as a cathode electrode. As a comparison, copper oxide at graphite composite was also tested in anode material. The initial specific charge and discharge capacity of both cells are listed in the table. Copper oxide sample has the higher charging capacity compared to another cell. With the same mass loading, the capacity of copper oxide at graphite is lower compared to copper oxide capacity and higher than the pure graphite charge capacity. This phenomenon proves that the presence, the presence of copper oxide in commercial graphite improves its charging capacity by providing higher lithium storage for, from copper oxide with only 10% weight per weight concentration. Based on the discharge capacity, the highest capacity was established by copper oxide at graphite composite. Sample with copper oxide anode has low initial columbic efficiency due to the irreversible process in the initial charging process. Thus, it can be concluded that by compositing copper oxide with graphite, the discharge capacity of the cell is far superior to so. Thus, the overall performance of the cell is enhanced. The last is the conclusion. A leaching process of copper foil waste is successfully conducted using nitric acid, malic acid, and acetic acid. The formation of copper oxalate X hydrate was successfully using a simple batch oxalate precipitation of leaching solution. The result was confirmed by XRD analysis, while the XRD pattern of copper oxide show pure peaks for copper oxide obtained from the nitric acid leaching. leaching. Alongside the absence of the observ observable impurity in the sample, FTIR analysis show of each sample shows the presence of CO group and the presence of metal oxide bonds respectively. In addition, same analysis result demonstrate the copper oxalate material in a disc form while copper oxide was octahedral spare shaped. Based on the electrochemical performance using uh, 18 and 650 cylindrical type battery, the specific discharge capacity was higher in anode material using CO2 and graphite composite uh, compared to copper oxide pure. In conclusion, copper foil waste can upcycle into a promising anode material for lithium ion batteries. Here is the reference for this paper. Thank you.